I'm Laura from Berlin, Germany, and you're watching what I'm doing right now. There's photography students down there taking pictures. I haven't filmed very much so far today. It's just after 5 p.m. I've finished working on my EcoGeek stuff for the day. I also finally had an opportunity to back up my phone onto my computer so that I could transfer all the stuff to the new iPhone that I got, like, weeks ago. If you don't remember, this one took a spill, so that's, that's what that looks like. I guess I don't often have two phones at my disposal, so I can show you what it looks like when I'm filming stuff for these vlogs. If you excuse the crack, this is the app that I use. It's called Mavis. We've got the video up there in the corner. Down here is showing you a waveform of the exposure levels and also the color levels. You can see color on this spectrogram thing over here. You'll also notice the the green outlines on things. That tells you what's in focus and what's not. Can't really reach it with one hand very well, but this thing over here controls the focus, and then this thing over here controls exposure level. And one of my favorite things about this app is that you can tell it go into full auto mode and it's controlling everything, but as soon as you tell it, no, I want exposure to be there, it locks exposure in place. As soon as you tell it, I want focus to be here, it locks focus in place until you go back and reset it to full auto. When I first started using this app, I think it was sometime last year, uh, it didn't put timestamps on the file names, which was annoying because when we put these files into Premiere and then we're trying to put the little things that pop up to tell you what time it was, we had to go dig out the file and find the metadata attached to the file rather than just being able to read it right in the file name. So I sent the guy who programs this app an email saying, hi, can you add the timestamp to the file name? Uh, and it took a little bit for him to get back to me, but then he was like, sure. And so now that feature's in there. I just finished watching a video from Nyla called The Michael Aranda Tag, where she answers a handful of questions relating to like how she found my content and what her favorite video is and all this stuff. And I just sat here watching it with a big stupid grin on my face. It was, I don't know, it's so weird because most of the time I go throughout my life not realizing the impact that my, my life my words, my actions, my videos have on other people, and this is the kind of thing that drives it home. So first, thank you, Nyla, for making that video. It was really touching. Second, thank you to everybody who is a part of this community that, that I, I feel, honestly, is the best community on the internet. Nowhere else will you find a nicer, more considerate, more thoughtful group of people than right here. If you want to see Nyla's video, I'll put a link in the video description. And if you want to put a stupid grin on my face, you can make a video just like she did and uh, tweet it at me or put it in the comments of a video or something. Man. My chest feels all weird now. We have decided to become upstanding members of our community and attend a city council meeting at City Hall this week. I, uh, I've, I've been wanting to do it since I got out here, and so I was like, Michael, let's go to city council meeting. We've been trying to go the last couple weeks, but things just happened. Yeah, we couldn't. But now, buddy, we're gonna learn about this city. I tell you what, today's the day. Today's the day. Don't look at me. <laughs> you just said you were sure this is where the city because, council meeting because it was. Ha it happens at City Hall. Does it? Sir. I mean, maybe not here, but I assume so. Let me look it up. You better look it up. Hey, we found the city of Missoula. If you were looking for City Hall, we found that already. That's interesting art. Well, that was interesting. We got to see we got to see the city at work. And here's the thing: I think, we, like, accidentally, we went on a really good night. Yeah, I think we need to figure out this water situation because that does not sound good. <laughs> it does. So, I mean, the city of Missoula recently went to court to take over a privately held water company because they were making the argument that the privately held water company wasn't serving the citizens of Missoula well enough and was like endangering health and not maintaining the system. Water purification was off and so was the watershed situation. Also the and lines the, the lines running to to people's homes was not like up the code. Up, yeah, up the code being like up cap and stuff. They so were wasteful. It's well that's what they're claiming. Instead they're like we're going to take over and now you're going to jail. <laughs> no, I doubt that's, that's the intent. It's, it's, it's not the intent but it's, it's a way to keep things up to code and make sure people are following the rules. I can see both sides no, of it. No, no, no. It's it's completely asinine because anywhere 
anywhere else in the world, it is the city's, maybe not the world, but <laughs> it is the city's responsibility if they take over to maintain those lines, yeah. to maintain the meters because that's okay. city property, to maintain the boxes because that's city, city property. If you try to put your own in, guess what? They're not going to let you. If you try to tie into their line without using their stuff, guess what? They're not going to let you. So it's their system, their lines. You know, they're trying to take it from a private to a, a city-owned thing. And when cities have the, the power to control your water, your electric, your gas, guess what? That's not good. Because then you have a few people that aren't regulated by anybody. Well, to say that uh, what the one lady pointed out was that the city council people, the people that are enacting this, are not going to be held responsible. No one's going to be held responsible for anything. And so it's kind of like if something happens, well, oops, oops, sorry. <laughs> and and, I, and I, I can understand that argument. Where if it's a privately owned company, they, they have insurance. Not that. just that. The city then governs that. Like they, they if something's being wronged. Like, you can go to your city council members, hey, we need this to be regulated. We need this to be done. And there's a, a form of justice that can be done, per se. Some where, oversight. Exactly. Where if the city owns it, who's going to regulate it? Todd. I wish no, it was not that Todd. Simple. <laughs> You know, but so, that's that's a huge problem because then the rates can go to whatever the city yeah. wants. There's no regulations. If the city comes into a situation where it's like, okay, well, we've got this problem. Let's just pass a regulation about it. Who's going to oppose it? We, we need a, a separation between business and government. Government, which is the city, should not own businesses that... Like, I, I love I love that you do this and then you just like this and then you're like this. I mean, I gotta talk. To my, if you tied my hands behind my back, <laughs> yeah. like, you, you, I, could, I, I might have. I mean, I could do it. It might not be as animated. It might not be as fun, but I could do it. So it was it was a good night. To yeah, go. it was. And let me let me tell you something. So I've been to a lot of city council meetings in multiple cities, especially when I was doing the the Occupy. Uh, stuff. I had to, like, I was, can't say I was leading, but I was in charge of a lot of, a couple meetings, and I would have to go up and speak and stuff like that. And let me tell you, every city council meeting, the, you, you always have a few very interesting people in the audience. Very interesting. This yep. one lady here was talking about brainwashing, the Soviet brainwashing. Yep. I'm not really sure what that had to do with anything. I, but I didn't there, there, there's, there's zero context for us there, but let me tell you, there's probably a few times I was that, that kind of, that different person up there talking about <laughs> stuff. So, you know, but I it's, it's, it's always, what she was saying. Well, I, 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 I understand. <laughs> she's afraid of government control. I'm sure she's there every single week. I so that sure. and, and so the like, mayor did know her by name. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, it's good that people get involved. So get involved. Mm -hmm.